we are going to draft the front first so i'll start by ruling my guideline so from this guideline i will measure down her ham hole her ham hole length is eight and a half then our waist length is 16.5 hip line is 25 and i'll measure the length which is stopping here i'm going to be adding seam allowance yet because this is just the lining our allowance is going to be on the main fabric then these lines so that you guys can see it clearly in our shoulder this is the armhole length and this is our chest line okay this is the waist length this is the hip line and we have the length of our gown right there so the next thing now is for me to put the shoulder divided by two her shoulder is 15 divided by two that will be seven and a half i'll mark it you rule this straight to the chest line you see so from this folded edge by the way we are drafting the front okay from this folded edge you mark three inches inward like this then you come to the tip of your shoulder you measure one inch downward then you connect it together like this you had your seam allowance of half inch to this line to so input your bust circumference measurement here so a bust circumference is 38 38 divided by four that will be nine and a half you pull the nine and a half because it's an a-line dress you put ease ease of half inch then you put your seam allowance then you move to the waistline you pull the waist circumference divided by four the waist circumference is 32 divided by four that will be eight inches you put the eight inches here you had your ease then you put your seam allowance okay then you come to the hip line you put the hip circumference divided by four hip is 45 divided by four that will be 11.25 11.25 you put this you had your half inch ease and then you put your seam allowance okay then the next thing now is for you to measure whatever you have on this hip line if you are making it um, a line you had minimum of extra three inches and put it at the hemline okay so as it's here like this this is um 13 and a half if i had extra three that would be 16 and a half so you put the 16 and a half there so if it's a line you are making that is it but if you still want it to be very wide you can add as much as five inches to whatever thing you have on your hip line but like i said i want my clients on to just be straight down i don't want i don't want any extension there because i'm going to be putting you know all these pleated slits at the back okay so whatever i have here on the hip line now i'll just really straight down i don't want it to be here but i'll draw it so that you can see how it's going to look let me draw the straight line first to the hemline then i'll flare it again to that hair shape so that you can see how it's going to look okay so for my clients i'm making it straight down to the a uh, to the m line like this because i want it to have pleating at the back but if you're making it a shape so from here now put it to that place okay so it's going to just be like this so can you see the difference so mine is going to be straight but then if you're making a line it's going to come like that okay so the next is to connect this side as well so from the bust line your chest line here you connect it to the waist from the waist you use the cuff part of your ruler to connect it to the hip okay can you see then you finish the ham hole by placing your french cuff touching your chest line and also touching this ham hole line you get the arm hook cuff so this is the because we're going to be using this to cut out the back so this is the back arm hole line okay then for the front arm hole you locate the center of your arm hole here locate this the center here you come in here by half inch you connect it back to the shoulder tip and then you get your cuff as well So this first one is the back ham hole and then this is the front ham hole next is to put the neckline so you can do any neck width of your choice but indicate in this case i'm going to be making it to be four inches then the neck depth is going to be three and a half i'll connect it together this way 
you can decide to make both the front neck and the back neck to be the same or you can make the back neck to be a little higher okay so this is the front neckline so you can decide to make the back a little higher okay maybe you can do from here to here you can measure to um yeah but i'm going to be making hers to be equal this is just for me to cut it so you can see that this is very easy I'm going to be using this front now to cut out the back. Okay, my zipper that wants to be one and a half. Uh, align the center front with this line that you rule, okay? Like this, like this. You measure half inch inward, like this, half inch. And then you connect it back this way and also this way. Can you see? Then you're going to cut it out exactly the same shape. Next is to cut off this uh, zip allowance uh, adjustment. So we are done. Don't forget to notch your zip allowance. Pocket sits at one inch below the waistline, so you make sure you put a mark there and notch the back and then you readjust the front arm hook off I'm going to use this lining to cut out the main fabric and we are going to be adding our aiming allowance to the main fabric okay You can see that the uh, hankara is two inches longer than the than the lining. Okay, this is the same allowance. So this fabric, this lining is folded into two. All right, I'm going to fold this over again into four, like this. So this is it. So from here, I'll measure our cap height. I'm going to be using four and a half for that from here i'll measure four and a half downward then at this four and a half point i'm going to input the ham hole the same ham hole i used when i was cutting it out okay so when i was cutting it out i used eight and a half for the ham hole and i said i had it um same allowance of one and a half so you put it then we had it is don't forget to the bust area so you put it again all right so the next thing is just to create your inverted S shape. Can you see? All together here, I have ten and a half. You can decide to add extra to make it like each shape, but I'm just going to be adding half inch to it to give it a little A effect. So I'm using the old thing I can get here. So it's just going to be like this. Then I'll cut it out. The sleeve hope is clear. Any question, guys? So I'm going to use this to cut out the Ankara, and we are going to be adding seam allowance to the bottom part of the Ankara. The sleeve you can keep it aside. Though we are going to be cutting lace to patch out the lower part of the sleeve. So this is the pocket.
this one I'm doing is optional, it's just to decorate it. Okay, so this is it. Next thing now is for me to put Emin gum so that I can marry them together. It's already looking fine so we are done with this remaining the one for the sleeve refuse the lace on the sleeve as well So open up your sleeve So next I'll turn with lining. Match them together here like this and so. Can you see the way they line in drag of the Ankara? Yep. Can you see it? One sleeve done. Done and dusted. Okay, next is the tongue with the lining. The M line together like so. Next, you match them together at the neckline. Hope you guys are following. If you have any question, leave it in the comment section. So next is to sew the side but now if you are sewing the side you know you have to attach your pockets so when i get to the point where i notch to put the pockets i'm going to put the pockets like so like so like so so the pockets will be in between the lining and the and the main clothes okay And you see this is the pockets make sure you align it properly so we are done turning with the lining and see our pockets the raw edge of the pocket is tucked in between the lining and the dress can you see the pleating at the back of our dress so the first step is for you to hem the lower parts hem it like so mm -hmm. 
so this upper part you have the option of weaving it or you fold it once to the right side this is the right side okay so just fold it like this just once like this since I already have a detailed tutorial on how to attach this type of pleats at the back of a dress that you turn with lining on the channel I'm going to skip this step then I'm going to leave the link to that video in the description box so you can go and check it out So the next thing now is just to, uh, to join the front and the back together at the shoulder and after that you attach your sleeves and then you close the side of your dress. Alright? So by the time you're closing this side, when you get to the pocket side, you just rotate the pocket and so all around it like so, okay? I'm mm -hmm. 